Hello and welcome back. This is part third of Panels App Replica. If you haven't seen part one and two, go ahead and check that out first. Link in the description. In this video, we'll be creating the image tile model sheet so that you can see the details of the image and also we will create a collection tile. So make sure to watch complete video. We are starting right away. Once again, welcome back to the tutorial. I highly recommend if you haven't seen part one or part two of this video, make sure to check that out first so that you understand what I'm doing. So basically, if you remember in part one, I have used this image from Pixum server and which was not looking nice. So I just added some random keyword and it just randomized the image and we have something to, you know, something nice to look at, right? Now what we're gonna do on click of this image style, we want to show image detail view where user can download the picture. So we have to first wrap everything inside a gesture detector or gesture detector, whatever you call it. And then we will uh, provide the event on tap. Now here we will be calling a method which is responsible for showing the image detail. We also need to pass a couple of parameters to this method. First thing is context because show model bottom sheet requires context to display and of course image source which will be the actual image which user will be downloading. So here's the generated method. You can simply right click and say generate a method. That's a simple way like you don't have to define a method first and then call it. You can just uh, type it right away. Okay, uh, so inside show image details, we will be calling show model bottom sheet, model bottom sheet, and then inside a builder, we'll be implementing the actual content. Now, to start with, we'll just use a fractional size box. Now, what it does, it provides a fraction of a screen as a uh, container or as a starting point. So here we will say height factor of 0 0.9. So whatever we are going to uh, display as a bottom sheet will take 90% of the screen size. So let's go ahead and give it a run. And it's not taking 90%. It doesn't look like 90% because model bottom sheet by default takes this much height. And we can simply override that by providing is scroll control true. So now we are controlling the scroll and it will take fractional size box of 90%. So here we have the container. Now it's a good time to start designing something. If you have a look at the reference image, it's nothing but an image title button and author image. So it's quite simple page. So what I'll be focusing is uh, on the structure of the page, how to utilize some of the widget to achieve this kind of design. And basically it will be text widget, button widget, and some of the network image of which we are using cache network image. So as of now, we have used cache network image for the main content and it is looking uh, in the upper part, which is fine. We will work on the border radius later on. Let's go ahead and put some other components like title of the image. Then maybe we will create a material button with all the properties like providing a background color, text color, shape, and you can even customize, uh, you know, height of the button. And because we are running inside a model sheet, you'll not be able to see the changes immediately. So you have to close the pop-up and start it again to see the changes. So make sure to do that. Now we have a title, we have a button, everything is looking fine. We can even, you know, increase the width of the button and height for sure uh, to match the design, but you'll find that GitHub source uh, where I have completed the exact pixel to pixel design. Uh, but for now we will focus on other components and we'll try to achieve the uh, structure of the page so that you know for which UI we are using which component and how to utilize all those component, how to put uh, inside rows and column and stack and how to overlap things. So I I'm trying to focus more on that part in this tutorial. Now, interesting thing here that to make this image circular, I'm using a container with a shape of circle. You can even use clip R rectangle, but there you have to define the radius manually. Whereas in container, you can just say that it's a circular thing. And depending on what size it is, what uh, component it is, it will just make it circular. You don't have to worry about the radius. So even if it grows or shrinks, you will not have to change the value. All right. So our thumbnail image is ready. Let's put a tick mark or I think there's a plus icon if it is not mark favorite. But for now, I'll just use a tick mark to show that this user is my favorite. 
and again i'm utilizing stack widget to put a tick mark on top of the user thumbnail now there's an alignment issue you can fix that with providing a bottom right alignment and now you will see that the image and the tick mark goes away because the stack is not aligned properly so we'll say like center or something uh, in this case we are using bottom right again to make it together now of course the stack doesn't know where to put itself so once we wrap this inside a parent widget will define where to put things so let's wrap this stack inside a row widget because we have to show uh, author name as well so i'll just simply wrap it with row provide a text of uh, provide a name of the author inside a text widget and here we have the author information ready and before we complete this dialog let's also format it nicely by providing a padding to the name uh, author information and of course putting a space between the thumbnail and actual name of the author looking perfect now before we conclude let's add rounded corner radius to the complete bottom sheet and you can define a shape with rounded rectangular border and define a border radius and also whenever you use this shape make sure to use clip behavior with clip anti allies so that it's clipped nicely because sometimes you will see that even though you apply a border radius it doesn't work and the reason because you have to apply clipping method as well so here's the final result maybe you can see the corner radius or let me just switch to another image which has some dark background and here you can see clearly there's a corner uh, there's a corner radius and you can increase the radius as well if you want but this looks fine to me you can try to achieve other components like download or details yourself or if you want help you can check out the github link in description let's move ahead and create a collection tile similarly how we created image style will be having a collection tile now if you refer to the original application there two types of images are there like one is a single image and one bundle of images provided by you know one of the author as a collection so here i created a new file collection tile and inside that i'm going to use stl to generate a stateless widget and then we will start with a simple container first and then we will put all the three images inside stack now looking at the design we know that there are three images on top of each other with little bit of padding from the bottom so first one is touching the bottom line second one is little bit up and third one is little bit higher than that so i'm going to create cache network images with different index just a random value for each images and then i will position it accordingly a uh, different value for bottom now here i'm using position widget with bottom value so first image will be 0 pixel away from bottom second image will be like 14 or 15 pixel away and third image 30 pixel away that gives a feel of stacked images with little bit offset from each other still we can't see the result because we haven't mapped collection tile to the actual machinery grid view now before we do that let's also provide some height to this stack because stack cannot define height itself and we haven't even defined height to any of the component so we'll say that everything is of size extent which in our case we're going to use 150 pixel of height now we'll keep the same logic that if it's a even number we're going to use 300 pixel if it's odd number we're going to use 150 pixel but instead of using same image style we will be using a different component so for even image style for odd collection tile so now that the collection tile is visible it's time to start formatting it because all the images are stacked on top of each other we can't really see it clearly so let's go to collection tile and we'll give a left right value for the position for the bottom most image we'll say 25 pixel from left 25 pixel from right for the second image one in the middle we'll say 15 from left 15 from right and the top one uh, it's fine we don't need any extra padding and next we want to apply some corner radius by providing the border radius of maybe 10 pixel and i will just copy paste same for every single image now especially for the first image we have to mark it position dot fill so that it takes entire space because we haven't specified the left and right value so it's not showing the complete image and of course we'll use box fit of cover so it covers the entire space it's interesting with how such small details we can come up with nice ui design
It's looking fine though, but we need one more thing. And that is the shadow for each level, which gives a feel of depth. Now, container has a decoration with which you can provide box shadows and you can use multiple of shadows. Like if you want a color gradient, color shadow, something you can do that effect as well, like neon or something. But we'll just go with a simple black shadow. Now, before we conclude, let's add a final icon to the collection tile, which indicates that this is a collection. And of course, I'm going to use just some random star icon. You can have a predefined icon or you can use custom image for collection tile as per the design. But that's not the point. We just want to replicate a UI and a structure how it is done. And don't worry about this hard coded values. This is going to work on every single device because we have a fixed height of the extent. So 30, 35 pixel. This will work in relation with each other. So you, you will not see any broken image on smaller or bigger device. And finally, to conclude this tutorial, we will also add the same collection tile inside explore page as well. If you have seen part two of the video where we covered the complete explore page, there also we have the same machinery grid view, which is going to use image tile and collection tile based on the condition. So let's give it a run one final time and here's the result with explore page and home page covered with all the components. You can find GitHub link in the description below. So make sure to check that out. If you want any help with the source code, you can check these other videos, which are really helpful. If you want to understand flutter more better way. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.